So now I'm going to go over how to upload a basic image to your collection. So first, I'm going to navigate to my collection. So here it is at the bottom here. And as you can see, it is currently empty. So first, I'm going to click on the Manage tab. I will then click on Add an Object to this collection. For Content Model, I'm going to select Basic Image Content Model. And I then click on Next. Now, I'm on the Mods form. Keep in mind again that depending on your institution, your Mods form may look different. Also, even though I might leave some metadata fields blank, you should try to be as thorough as possible in describing your object. First comes a question asking whether your image should appear in Connecticut History Illustrated. For mine, I'm going to select no. However, it is really up to the institution to decide whether that applies or not. The same goes for the World War I channel and the Geographic Channel questions. Next comes the required title information. Here's where you enter in the title that you would like to give your image. If you have any creator or contributor information for your image, that could be added here. Resource type, which is required. As you can see, it is already set to still image, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Any genre terms that may exist for your image could be added. Information on origin, which includes place of publication as well as any dates could be added. I have a year which could be added under a single date. You could also add any date ranges that may apply to your image. Next comes the format description section which is required as a whole. Underneath that there is the form slash medium which is optional. I'm just going to enter in the suggested black and white. There's digital format which is recommended. I'm going to enter in the suggested image slash JPEG, which is also the format of the file which I will be ingesting in just a moment. And then there is digital origin. As you can see, it is, it is already set to a formatted digital, so I'm just going to leave it as is. If you have any description for your image that could be added here, if there is any historic or current address that is associated with your image, you could add that as well as any sources that may exist. Held by is where you enter in your institution's name. Keep in mind again that on the actual CTDA website this is done by a drop-down bar. Here on stage, however, you just enter in the name of your institution. So I'm just going to enter in CTDA for now. If you have any preferred citation for your image that could be added. And then any subjects which may be applicable to your image could be added. Keep in mind that for many of these metadata fields, you should be using a controlled vocabulary. So you should consult authorities such as the Library of Congress or Getty. This way, you, you know you are using the same vocabulary as other institutions. There is a section for any identifiers such as file names or session numbers, if your image has any that you would like to add. And then comes the right statement. As you may now see, rights are now required for uploading an object. As far as I know, there are no known copyright restrictions for my image. However, you should be sure to enter in the correct copyright restrictions, restrictions for any object being uploaded. So I'm just going to enter in the default, which is no known copyright restrictions. And then once all metadata for the image has been entered, you can go ahead and click on Next. Now is where you choose the file that you would like to ingest. Allowable file types for uh, basic images are GIFs, PNGs, or JPEGs. I have a JPEG which I would like to ingest, so I'm going to choose the file. Here it is here, and I'm now going to select Open. I can now select Upload, and now it is ready to ingest. So successful, your image should now appear. So here's my basic image. 
And just to show you, I'm going to navigate back to my collection through the breadcrumbs here. And whereas before there was nothing in the collection, there's my basic image. So that is how you add a basic image to your collection.